Hey there, YouTube. It's us with ASM Auto. What I've got for you today is a review of the brand new, whoops, gear wrench, <laughs> bear with me here. I'm, it's been a long day and I'm having a little fun. The gear wrench, eight inch alignments pliers. This is the new Pitbull plier. You can see there's the gear wrench on the handle. And this is the uh, plastic dipped handle version. They also have a comfort grip version that's similar to the comfort grips you find on the premium version of the Knipex pliers. So the part number here is 820180. So without further ado, let's get into this review. Now, before we start on the pliers, here's some of the things that it says that they can do. Um, interestingly, it says you can use the head as a reamer. So you can use this part as a pipe reamer. Um, it actually has teeth down here. If you can see that. They are straight teeth. And the recommended use for that is a, a fish tape channel for flat steel tapes. There's some other details about them, some marketing there. Um, of course, like most gear wrench hand tools, limited lifetime warranty, and tested design and engineer of the USA, made in China. All right, so a few details of these pliers. There, you can see the part number a little bit better. Uh, it's nice labeling of gear wrench. Now, there's a few things I've noticed um, when it comes to these pliers. One of the first things is... As you can see, here's the cutting area right here, and there's a there's a noticeable gap. And that will come into play when you're cutting some materials, and I'll show you that uh, in a little bit. Now, the second thing is, it does have a cross-hatching pattern here, you know, which is pretty standard on um, line men's pliers. But uh, if you want to compare them to, say, the industry standard, which in my opinion is Klein. The, uh, the cross hatching is far less aggressive on the gear wrench. Like I can easily rake my finger across there. With the Klein, <laughs> it almost grabs your finger when you try to do it. Like the Klein is much more aggressive. You know, and of course, certain other features to the Klein that I think people like to see Also, if you look there, there's a slight gap, but it's not, not quite as noticeable. Anyway, in my opinion, you know, these are these are a professional tools, so it's fair to compare them to the industry standard. Now let's, let's kind of see how they perform in one of their intended functions. We're gonna cut some, we've got some wire over here and we're gonna cut it and see how easy that is. All right, trying to do this in front of the camera. Let's see, let's see how nice the cut is here. So that's the cut that they just did. Now, for comparison purposes, let's see the Klein. So first of all, let's see how easy it is to cut. That was fairly easy. How easy it is to cut and then how clean the cut is. Yeah, uh, that was super easy. And there's the Klein. Let's compare them. All right, another little test here. Wouldn't say this is overly scientific, but it's got a pair of cutters, so might as well see how it does on a piece of paper. In this case, a uh, inspection report. 
<laughs> Not one that we actually used. <laughs> So first we got the gear wrench. Let's see. Let's cut the corner here. Eh, not really. Won't do it. Let's try the Klein. And again, it's not like this is really their intended purpose, but. Like butter. You know, one of the obvious um, benefits of reviewing a tool is putting it through wear and tear and seeing how well it holds up. I can't really do that, obviously. You know, this is a new pair of pliers, so I'll have to do a follow-up video and just, you know, see how well they hold up. But to be honest, like, these are, they're okay, but this thing right here really isn't that much more expensive. So, I mean, I gotta be honest, I like gear wrench tools, but I think these to me are a little disappointing. You know, I'd like to see, I'd like to see the, uh, the teeth be a little more aggressive. I'd like to see less of a gap between the cutters. Outside of that, I mean, I can't really complain. They probably mostly do the job they're intended for. I haven't tested their ability to ream pipe, and I probably won't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, basically, in terms of value, I think you're getting more value in a pair of these when they're really not, they're somewhat, you know, they're pretty comparable in price. Um, so, so these, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little less impressed than I was hoping to be. So anyway, that's my review for the gear wrench, new pit bull lineman's pliers, part number 82180, uh, designed in USA, manufactured in China. A couple neat features. If you like that, if you like having these features, you find them useful, then maybe these are pliers for you. Thanks for watching. Wanted to add a couple things I forgot to mention uh, in the video earlier. So this pair, this pair of lineman's pliers right here. Uh, one thing I, I noticed is they're they're a bit stiff. Um, you know, whereas the other Pipple pliers I reviewed were pretty loose and well lubricated. Uh, you know, they just felt they they didn't really need to get broken in. These are a little stiff. Uh, you know, as again for comparison purposes, the Kleins were pretty pretty much you know spot on, just perfect. Um, right out of the box. These are a little stiff, wanted to mention that. Second thing is, uh, I forgot to mention earlier in the video that, yeah, I am reviewing these for the Seeds program, Home Depot. I did not pay for these, but like I, um, you know, state in the other video, uh, getting free tools doesn't bias my review um, because I don't, I don't care about getting free tools. Um, I'm more than willing to pay for tools that I really want to own. But when I get the opportunity to receive a tool and review it for you guys, um, I think that I'll take that opportunity. And if I like the tool, I'll use it and I'll keep it. <laughs> so it's as simple as that. Um, anyway, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I appreciate your support and I look forward to bringing you guys more uh, content in the future. Thanks and have a great evening.